The following review is going to be on Transformers Kingdom, Voyager Class, Optimus Primal. Stay tuned. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to do a review on Voyager Class, Optimus Primal from the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. First, we'll take a look at the packaging. It says Optimus Primal. Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy. It is the Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy logo. There he is in his 8 mode. There he is in his robot mode. And it's his Voyager class. Other side has the Kingdom poster. There is the Maximal symbol on the top. There's the UPC if anybody needs it on the bottom. And here it is. It is Transformers Optimus Primal. 22 steps from robot to ape. And let's see, he is WFC, I don't see his number, we'll have to check a look at his instruction booklet. Now let's get this guy opened out of the package and see how cool he really is. Now that we got Optimus Primal out of the packaging, first let's look at everything. Alright, here is the case that he came in. First we're going to take a look at the card. Now, whoops. This is Dinobot. You see a nice 3D gloss of Dinobot. And then you peel this back. You see Dinobot. Uh, there is a Scorponok, Air Razor, and Black Arachnia. Now there is, I think, four cards. Dinobot, the Ark, um, Optimus Prime, and I forget what the other one is, though. But <clears throat> don't forget to do this. Now also... On this figure, but on most of these Kingdom figures, there's usually something attached to the back right here. I know Warpath had one and Cheetor had one, but don't throw away these until you search these. And you can also use this. I like to use this, though, as like the Studio Series. There is the little display case for that guy. That's just something little I like. Now, the instruction booklet is right here. And he is WFC-K8. I couldn't find that number on the pack. And it just says he comes with two weapons. You can store the two weapons on his back. And he's got some arm cannons. And that's how you do that. You can open up his hand. And you can hold both swords. And um, that is it for Gorilla. Now there's also a second Gorilla mode where you can move the feet higher <clears throat> so he's standing so he's got the gorilla mode where he's walking on all fours and now where he's standing on two and that is those he comes with two swords they are blue and silver and they're pretty pretty detailed i think and are they the same uh, yes, they are exactly the same. And they have these two little tabs here where if you want to store them, you could store them right back here on his robot mode and in his gorilla mode, like that. And now you have Optimus Primal all armored up. And now let's look at Optimus Primal. <clears throat> He's got a nice looking face, very cartoon accurate. I guess all primes kind of have this thing down the middle, a face shield. Uh, he's blue, and this thing's like blue. He's got a blue mouth, he's got orange eyes, and he's got some silver or white in his face. I guess that's white because that's silver in the back. The texture on this guy is amazing. It's the plastic, but the way they texture it to make it look like fur. You got some blue, he looks like glitter too. It's got some orange thing in the in the chest. You got more of this, whoops, we'll pull these in for now. I'll show you those later. Um, the texture is just amazing. They did a really good job, even on here, where the fingers move. And on a Voyager size figure, that is just crazy. Quick, what do you see right here? If you see Sid, well, <laughs> you'll always see Sid from Ice Age. Back to the review, he's got some white, he's got some blue, some red there. Again, more of that plastic texture. I love the pistons on the feet, pretty neat. Uh, he packs up well, he's got just a little backpack, but not too noticeable. Um, 
not really hollow anywhere so uh, he's a pretty cool figure very detailed I like him and for a comparison real quick we're gonna bring in the uh, I think this was combined awards the optimal Optimus and that was their version of Optimus Primal he turned into like a surfboard or something but you put the two together the faces are very similar this has the blue with the triangle this is the two red and the silver you got the blue on the waist again you got the red you got the pistons down here I mean it wasn't like I said he he transformed into like a surfboard or <laughs> something weird and there's the big optimal optimus head but you know I never had this figure so I'm glad I kinda got my optimus primal fix with this guy yeah now with this guy let's do articulation the head and we'll take his weapons off before we do our articulation. Okay, head is on a ball joint. It can do the whole 360 degrees. He can look up and down pretty much good. His arm will do 360. <clears throat> it will go out like that. That's a very tight joint. It's on a bicep swivel, which moves the whole elbow. You've got more than a 90 degree uh, on the elbow. The hand does a whole 360 degrees. And the fingers will go out and in. <clears throat> He's got waist articulation, 360 degrees. Again, other arm, very tight, bicep swivel. Let's see, the front leg, uh, almost 90 back only that much um, he does the split it's kind of got like rotation on the thigh right there now the knees you've got that bend there and then you have another bend there so you got two joints on the knees and the foot oh uh, let's see it just goes up. Oh yeah, he's got an ankle rocker too. Just a little ankle rocker. And here, if you push your hand in here, you can extend these out and you can pull out. And these are little lasers that actually move up and down, which is pretty cool. You move this up. It goes up and down. There, and sometimes they're hard to put out. Yep, and then we're gonna get some blast effects. I like using Skylinks. Let's see, and I can use the blast effect on here. Actually, we'll just use the small blast effect. Yes, and now we've got him there. Let's do one blast effect on this hand, like that. And the other hand, I like how these, they didn't have to put these on a rocker, but they did. So Hasbro is pretty good with their, there we go. And, oh, you know what? Let's pull these out real quick. We're going to pull these out right here we'll show you all this later if I can get this out there and let's see you got these two now and these are blast effects compatible too so you got all those are blast effects you got these blast effects and that's all now, just wanted to show that. <clears throat> Let's put both the swords in his hand. We'll close them up. There. And there is Optimus Primal all armed to the teeth. He's got both swords. He's got the wrist guns. And he's got these guns. So, he's a pretty tough monkey to, uh, to fight. <clears throat> and now we're going to take these off. And let's do some robot-to-robot -robot comparison. 
And our first robot to robot comparisons, we're going to bring Invertebrake and Optimus Prime. Those are the core class figures. And then we're going to bring in Deluxe Class Warpath from the Kingdom line. And here is Deluxe Paleotrex, which is the Fossilizer. Here is Deluxe Cheetor. In robot mode, there is a Deluxe. <clears throat> Here is Leader Class Megatron. There we go. He's a big guy. We're going to bring in Leader Class Grimlock from the Studio Series. So those guys line up. This is Optimus Primal from the Combined Wars Optimal Optimus. And you can see they they try to go with the same face. Um, the His chest is a little red. He's blue. Um, they got the same belt, the same red and the white, and the same pistons on the legs. But they just tried something new with that. And after a little bit of magic, we've got Optimal Optimus in his full robot mode. There you go. And we're going to bring in Voyager Optimus Prime. Now this was a leader class, but it was a Netflix version, so he's the Voyager size figure. And that is all for Robot to Robot, this guy. Okay, first we're going to do is we're just going to bring these down, bring these down. I'm going to push these back in the hand, push these back in the hand, straighten the arms up, <clears throat> take this piece, and we're just going to pull this back, we're going to fold the guns in, you can't keep the guns out, sorry, you can't keep the guns out for the gorilla mode, but you don't want to, and while you push, now this is interesting, you pull this out, rotate, Pick the head up, rotate again, and then you take the chest piece and you flip it, and then you snap all this back in, like that. <clears throat> and that is how you do the face. <clears throat> we'll just put his arms out here. <clears throat> and you want to lift up his butt flap. We're going to unpeg this for right now. You're going to rotate him 360, uh, 180. Sorry, 180 degrees at the waist. And this, you want to rotate. And then what you do is you want to push all the way in so it's, now they're double jointed, but you want to make it where, there, you push this back up and you want to get that tab into this slot. There, you want to peg those in. Oh, and I forgot to show you on the articulation. The bottom of the feet rotate. For some reason at the shin, they rotate a little. Okay, so we're going to fold these up. And this we're just going to lay down like that. And I think we're done. Oops. And, um, yeah, and they tell you to move the the hands sideways. We'll move the hands forward like that. And there is Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode. <clears throat> and he's pretty cool. I think they really did a good job with all this texture to make it look more like fur. You got him on the head. You got him on the arms. It's all over the body. All over the back. And he hides most of the kibble pretty good. I mean, yeah, you see this joints right there, and you could see the white and the orange, and of course these, but I don't know if there was a way they could have made this come down, maybe a little hanging over like they did on the um, Megatron. They could have had this piece bigger, but <clears throat> there he is. The face is pretty good. Sorry about that. That's Jazz, my dog. Yes, named after the Autobot. <clears throat> All right, let's look at that face. You got a cool, you get almost reddish eyes. You can barely see them. You got the cool face. You got the texture. 
You go down the arms. You, you uh, knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. Uh, he goes on his knuckles. Uh, going down the back, it's all that nice texture. Yeah, those feet fold up, and he's pretty cool. And he stays like that. <clears throat> and he's a uh, pretty good gorilla. Now let's compare him to some other. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll do some articulation now. So his head moves from side to side, up and down. This arm moves in a 360. Now it's also neat right here, the arms move in and move out, which is pretty cool. And then again, they move all the way out. Just these are the same arms in robot mode. In the back, you can kick far like that and still keep this joint in that uh like here's where i said if you want i guess the way the feet move if you want them like this you can move the feet so they're kind of spread out like that instead of in you could spread them out like that and there he is <clears throat> now there is a second mode in the gorilla and what you want to do is pull the arms up forward, rotate the hands. The arms go forward, rotate the hands. Now it's all on this joint right here. What you want to do is you can pull these back like that. And then you bring it forward. And you bring it like that. Now the other side, again, they're very hard to do. It's a double joint. So there's the main foot. So you want to move it down here. And then this somehow is his gorilla mode standing up. Uh, let's fix these legs. There. Why? I don't know. I must have... There. There. There's his gorilla mode standing up. <clears throat> so he's... Uh, we'll just throw an Optimus real quick. So he's a little taller. Now, remember, he's a Voyager figure. So he's still a little smaller than a normal one. But that is one mode. And like I said... The instructions tell you to move the hands and then to put it back. We're going to pull this joint hard and then turn it and then snap it in. Let's get back to normal. You want to take this, you want to pull it all the way out and then down. And now he's back to being a regular gorilla walk in on all fours. Now for some beast to beast comparisons. And for our first alt mode comparisons we're gonna bring in Warpath. So that is the Deluxe Kingdom Warpath. And then we're gonna bring in Deluxe Cheetor. There we go. Remember he's a Voyager and he's a Deluxe. This is the Deluxe Paleotrex which we're gonna fossilize Optimus Primal later on. Uh, let's see, here is Core Class Optimus Prime and Core Class Vertebrake. That's how those guys compare. And one more Kingdom comparison. This is Megatron. Uh, Beast Wars Megatron, or Kingdom I should say. There we go. And then last, oh, sorry. And this is Grimlock Leader Class Studio Series. That's how those guys compare. And we're going to bring in Optimal Optimus again, this time in his gorilla mode. And that is all for our alt mode or beast mode comparisons. And before we transform him back again, let's, uh, you got that, you got that tab right there. We're just going to put these on and we're going to put this on. You know, it's a shame. Out of all the... There's four deluxe classes. <clears throat> you got Paleotrex, Black Arachnia, 
you've got Warpath, and you got Cheetor. And Paleotrex is a fossilizer, yet this guy you can't fossilize. Cheetor you can't fossilize. So it just, you know, what's stopping from them putting a 5mm port somewhere on them here? But I just wanted to mention that. <clears throat> and now to transform them back. First, going to work on the legs. We're just going to pull the legs. So now these joints, we're just going to pull these straight back. We're going to pull this straight back. And then we're going to pull these down. I like how it moves the pistons. That's pretty cool. And I kind of wish there was a way you could have moved this up. Now these flip down for some reason, but they don't flip up. And I don't know why. So once you get there's feet done, you want to pull this up. <clears throat> Let's move the camera up a little. And you want to rotate all 180. So now that's what you got. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that flat down. We're going to pull this whole area again <clears throat> and do the same thing. This goes up. You rotate the head, point it down. Actually, rotate this, and we're just going to bring these up for now in robot mode. You just got to get your finger in there and move it up. And uh, here you go. And then you can push it back and flip this over. I kind of wish, too, they could have done a better job of making this either flush, because I know on this side it's contoured. But then when it goes here, you got a gap in the bottom or a gap in the top. And then you can close that up. And then turn his arms the way they go. These will click. Here, they will click into place like that. Uh, you can rotate the hands, keep the elbows forward. Let's see, elbows forward, rotate the hands. And this, you pull up, you rotate, almost the same thing you do as Hot Rod's back spoiler. How you rotate it, you turn it, and you got this tab, or this hole, this slot, and this tab. And then you just put it like that. And now we've got Optimus Primal. And, let's see, he's got, let's get them all armored up. We're going to push our hand that in. We're going to push our hand in this. And I know we can't weaponize him because he doesn't have any 5mm ports. But we're going to take Paleotrex's head. And this is similar to the old Optimus Primal's club, I guess, he used to have. So that's why they made Paleotrex's head like that. And so he's got that. We'll put a sword in his hand. He's got a club in his hand, and this one will just stick on his back, like that. And now we've got Optimus Primal. All right, so we've got, oh, and yeah, we're going to put these there. He's got the club. He's got these. We're not taking no chances. So even though you can't fossilize them, you can use the Siege, Earthrise, and um, Kingdom special effects. And there we have Optimus Primal all back in his robot mode. And I like him. I mean, yes, he is a step up from this, but I am glad, though, they brought this guy out. I mean, he looks pretty... They, he looks pretty good, but considering what he's used for, I mean, they, they nailed the pistons down here. I mean, they did a pretty good job on this guy to hold you over until it came out with this guy. And also, you notice that's a maximal symbol? <clears throat> he doesn't have any symbols on him at all. Thought maybe they would have one somewhere, but there is not one maximal symbol at all on him. 
Oh, well, what are you going to do, though? All right, that is Optimus Primal in a nutshell. We'll take all these off. All right, I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, uh, share the channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications. If there is a link below to buy this guy, feel free to do that. I get some credit, and it helps me a lot. Uh, earning money to get more of these guys because I don't do this as a regular job. I have a normal daytime job. So this I do on the fun because I love Transformers. All right, this is uh, Rodimus Prime or Optimus Primal saying, Maximals, maximize. Have fun.